I've always conducted town hall meetings, and um, this is the 41st and 42nd town hall meeting I've conducted. Um, uh, the protests that have occurred in my district offices in New Jersey, those protests are not the reason I'm holding these town hall meetings. I always hold town hall meetings. They are the reason that I requested that Raritan Valley Community College uh, be the venue because I believe this is the largest auditorium in the congressional district I serve. I again thank Raritan Valley Community College and so certainly the protesters had an impact in that we made the venue as large as possible and we chose to have two town hall meetings. We were scheduled to have one and we've had this second one. Now regarding other members of the Congress, uh, across the country, including the state of New Jersey. I do not tell other members of Congress what they should or should not do. I know what is best for me to do in my representation of the three quarters of a million people I represent here in north central New Jersey. And for me, town hall meetings are informative. I hope that the constituents who attend town hall meetings are informed as well by my responses. And I was particularly pleased with the question I think in the last third of the town hall meeting today regarding the ACA and I explained for example the Medicaid enhancement and I know it was a, a complicated answer but I believe it's important to educate the public to the greatest extent possible on these critical issues. And then finally let me say in this area I try to lead by example and by example I have had these town hall meetings and I also try to lead by example in a manner of respect and civility. 